program is intended for a mature audience. If you are not 18 or older, stop listening and find more age-appropriate content. This show will cover topics in a satirical manner. If you are offended by any content herein, that is your own problem, as you have been warned. Please do not try this at home, or anywhere else for that matter. And now, for the most famous words in motorsports. Oh, hell no! Hey, welcome to Blowing Pistons. I'm your host, Gremlin Dave, and right now I'm completely by myself waiting for people to show up. Uh, it's kind of a rocky start. Sorry about that, folks. So, yeah, um, not really sure what to talk about at the moment because, like I said, I completely by myself, and it, and it sucks. But, hey, you know what? It is what it is, right? I mean, if anybody has any comments in the chat besides Johnny saying first, which he should be here right now. Way to go, Hammer. Damn it. Exactly. Kind of my thoughts and all together. But, um, well, I guess I'll start out. The one thing I know. No, you're not in that chat, Dick. Ugh. Yeah, Johnny, thanks. Uh, well, I mean, we got NASCAR. Everything's been going good. They got a new road course today at Charlotte, which I haven't been able to pull up and look at. Uh, not really sure what's going on there either. Sorry, guys. I am completely failing on this one, which sucks. But I am trying. Uh, we will have Kayla Miguez calling today. As long as I can figure out what to do on that one. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But Johnny will be here in a few minutes. That way I have somebody to talk to. So I'm not talking completely by myself with sounding crazy because that's usually what happens when I'm talking by myself. So, yeah, um, wow, I don't know how Hammer can do this when he does it like that, but we do have a couple sponsors, which I will pull up and attempt to kill some time, which my phone now is being slow and fun. Uh, let's see, we got Taffy Liquids, and I'm pulling up the thing. Why do I have nothing here in front of me? Sorry, guys, I am totally unprepared, and yeah. Let me find where everything is. You're doing great, buddy. Thanks, Johnny. Get your ass here. Now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anybody has any questions, now is the perfect time in the chat room. Uh, it's a little one-on-one -on -one time with Gremlin Dave, I guess. And, oh, at least, you know, when Hammer does his shows, he has an idea of what he's going at. The Hammer-approved great show. When we can get one out there. Uh, Shots from the Balcony, another great show. We did we did do a secret episode Friday night, which introduced you to somebody new to the network. Uh, how about Vape Walkie? Yeah, I'm trying to find the information on this stuff, Johnny. I'm working on it here. I am working on it. But I'm just trying not to have dead silence while I'm looking for stuff. <laughs> which... Yeah, I know people are like, this is boring. Play, well, hey, I'm trying. It is what it is. And where is everything? Call me. We'll do. Right now. Da 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 da. And I am calling you right now. <laughs> wow. So, up here. It's gonna fit in there. Really? And me, uh, yeah. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Hammer, I tried to call you. Nothing's happening. This is, yeah, it's going great. <laughs> uh. All right. So, yeah. Now, yeah. Oh, my God. Anyways, let me see. Where can I get started while I'm trying to figure out how to get everything going and while I'm trying to find where everything's at to get everything going? Come on. 
Ah. All right. And again, bear with me, folks. I am sorry. I am failing at this. But it, it is what it is. Could be worse. I mean, what else do you have to do on a Sunday besides watch the Packers? I think they're winning. <laughs> um, trying to find information on stuff while I'm doing this. And again, bear with me, folks. I am sorry. And of course, now my phone wants to move incredibly slow. So I can look stuff up. And this is probably going to be one of those episodes that goes down as, look what I can't do. <laughs> and let's see. Da, 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 da. Well, looks like Kyle Larson's in the race for the NASCAR race. Kyle Busch, second. Uh, Jamie McMurray is third. But they are running a new road course today, which is the first time in Charlotte that they've actually ran the road course. And... So far, it seems like it's been a pretty good race. From the highlights that I'm pulling up right now, looks like my guy is already not doing great, which that's fine. Today's sports for me has not been going good. My football team sucks, but at least, hey, you know, the Packers are winning. Yeah. And, God, it'd be nice to have somebody else to talk to here. <laughs> but, hey, it's all good. Um... Like I said, at, in about roughly 15 minutes or so, we'll have Kaylin Miguez on. I know she's got some different news. Uh, I th think I've seen her driving for another team. I'm not 100% sure. I will let her explain that one. And awesome. Sounds like Johnny's here, and I'm hoping to God it's Johnny. Thank freaking God, dude. You know how weird it is to do this by yourself? You're trying to think of the stuff to talk about, and you're like, uh, how do I talk to myself? Is this on? Yes. Okay, real quick, this show is brought to you by Vapewalkie you. in Vape, or I don't know, Pewaukee, Wisconsin, something like that. Yes, with dude, a we are great, this. With a great selection um, from high end to low end, just to make you scream, something like that. And then uh, Resurrection Vapor with uh, lots of tasty juices. I do highly recommend the Destiny if you like that Blue Moon, Blue Moon ice cream. It is fantabulous, and I, I do like it. Um, what about you, Dave? you like any of that Resurrection juice? Oh, hell yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It's all Everything good. they've got is good. Yes, they are. Why do you always pick to have a car show the day – or excuse me, a, a podcast the day – one yeah. of the larger Janesville car shows is it, well, tuner car shows are in town. Oh, <laughs> is that what's going on right now? That that is in the backyard. Are you telling me it's back there now? It's back there right now. Uh, who the hell cares? You want to go for a walk? Why? Yeah, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I got like I got at least like two or three cars I've cleaned for. Oh, uh, so they're your actual your customers. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I uh, okay, yeah, I really wanted to go out there and get um. We pay for a booth spot, but yeah, it didn't work so well. All right, so party foul on me. That's that's all right though. So you can all, or you can find me at um, attentionfordetail.com. You can find all my uh, fantastic information there. You can see some of the work I've done. Um, I run a professional automotive detail shop in Whitewater, Wisconsin. That's dot located at two two seven East Main Street downtown whitewater we do everything from a lot of bit of cleaning to a little bit of cleaning depending on what you're looking for and what your budget is we're also a certified um pro coating installer that means we have a, the ability to protect your car from anywhere from five to seven years and uh even three to or two to three years depending on again what your budget is how long you think you're going to have the car and stuff like that trying to fill dead air dave i know it sucks doesn't it no it's not, bad. In. it's not too bad it's not too bad I mean, you know, we're we're making it. I think right. we're I think we're a little past the thirty mark, but you know, get in there. Yeah, Dave. Sorry, I had yeah. problems putting things in holes. Yeah, get in there, Dave. A lot of problems with the hole thing. Yeah, well, it's a new hole, so. <laughs> wow, dude. That, that. <laughs> and all this is going right through the phone. I know that, isn't it? You can hear it. I can't hear shit. 
Well, put some damn headphones on. You're failing. How am I failing? So they're running the Charlotte Road Course, huh? Yep. Is that the first or? Ooh, more <laughs> people are here. <laughs> yeah, Devin's like, you can clean my car any day, big boy. Oh, yeah. I'll, uh, send it. I will clean it. Ooh, who's this? Hello, Cody. Oh, my God. Thank you, fucking Lord. <laughs> He's kind Did of bombing. You hear this so far? No. no. I am bombing. <laughs> I've come to save the day. Yeah, it would have been nice if you could have came earlier. We were looking for I questions. had rule number three oh, obligation. God. Thank doot, you. Doot, doot. Fucking thank you. I have no idea what's going on. Neither do I. I'm attempting to do something I'm failing at. I don't think so. What? Um, uh, how do you like it? Do you like double rub? I mean, how, how does Rob do it? Are you turned on now? Yeah. Hello? No, you got to rub her back, Dave. How about now? Hello? That's there better. I hear you. I've no, turned you on. That's okay. I have successfully gotten you going. I haven't been hearing myself the last couple times. Now I'll call Rob and he can finish the job. Yeah, right? Well, he's working, so. We got to bring in a Oh, that's what toys are for. Are you now? Yes. You sure? Nope. (laughs) (laughs) So, do you guys know what's going on today? Absolutely not. We have Kayla McGuess calling in. I don't know who that is. She is the monster truck driver that drives jailbait. The one where I lost my shit the first time talking (laughs) to her because apparently I have a thing for a southern accent. Uh, Do yes, you now? Yes. You will witness the blood transferring from one head to the other. Dude, that blood's been working a lot lately, trust me. Well, yeah, I've seen your new toy. <laughs> <laughs> Which you have yet to meet. And she's upstairs so on the I couch. Did hear correctly. You do have a Try a spitting on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, thank, congratulations. Thank you. Things kind of went south with the other one, and I've met somebody that really makes me happy. Hey, good hey, job. It's about time, mm-hmm. Dave. It's good for time. you. High five. And High five. What are we calling Stop. this one? Uh, just blown pistons right now because I did some, like, I should have been prepared. But you were not. Bingo. This is what I'm afraid of. So we are just blown pistons. So I That's said, all we are right but now. But we're fucked up. Very. I, I, I Story of my life. And, uh, and ran the two obligated promos. <laughs> two, the two. two uh, well, I think we've got more. I kind of butchered them, but hey. Dude, did you hear the first time I did it? By myself? Do I didn't have a... You at least had a script. Yeah, I can't find anything. Usually we have something down here, but I was told to clean, and I wonder if I cleaned too well. If we were smarter, we could have just played... If we were smarter, I would have been set up... The the couple (laughs) minutes to Hammer Show, where you could hear Hammer running the two promos. (laughs) Yeah, well, I'm I'm not computer suave, I guess, or savvy. Savvy. Whatever. Suave, Savvy, savvy. Tomato, it's tomato. Rico Suave and Computer Savvy. <laughs> you know what? At least I tried. All right, fuck you off. Did. <laughs> I haven't had the balls to really try yet. I know. I, Dude, I, what, five minutes Are we supposed to be doing myself. a shot too? Did I see that in the group chat? I don't know. Where that, the fuck we were, is Michael? We were going to do a... Chat, 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 he's chat, working. Chat, chat, chat. Till? I don't I, know. He said if it was after five, he could swing by. But It's three o'clock. In fact, I have to... Yep. In about half hour, so. You're a bastard. Yeah, so I was like, oh shit. If he's taking off, then I'm going to be totally screwed. But uh, how long can I, you guys stay? I could Hopefully probably, the whole show? I could probably we'll push see. it. We'll see. I can probably push it Hopefully. for about 40 minutes. Only reason I'd have to leave is if I get a text message saying, let's work on your truck. Okay. Why? What's wrong with your truck? That's... I still have the check engine light on. Does it run? Yes. You're fine. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> like this for a while. it's not mechanical. We know that. Come on, I'm driving a car with a broken it's strut tire. Probably, you know what it is? It's the loose nut Swim between on. the uh, steering wheel and the gas pedal. No, because it's e- it's on when anybody drives it. I think that went over her head. No, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Nothing goes over He's her head. He's calling at me. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing goes over uh, oh, Well, I, I, some <laughs> things do. I, I'm driving a car with a, a busted, actually bent uh, sway bar end link. It, it's no longer connected to the sway bar. <laughs> Ah, it's just a little more roll in the corners. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, okay, and then my rear brakes, they're not um, they're not closing all the way, so I don't have full Who needs rear, rear brakes? brakes? Right? Anyone slamming on the brakes. That, <laughs> that's what I... Cody's just, driven the car, and it, yeah. it drives. See, what I you, am, like, seriously tempted. I'm very, very tempted just to just your, trade you vehicles. Just plan <laughs> your stop, in a, you know, ahead of time. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's what I've Anticipate done. Anticipate shit. I mean, there's some clunking going on in the front. I'm like, okay, that, that's a little that's, worrisome. Hey, but it's okay. I'm still it's driving a car with a duct tape steering wheel, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, and, 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 and we know it's not mechanical for sure now. Because no, that is the loose nut between the took, steering wheel and the driver's pedal. We took the, um, the gas pedal. We t- I actually learned how to do it finally. We took tore it apart down to the valve, took the valve cover off, mm-hmm. and saw all the rocker arms and all that uh-huh. moving. The valve cover. We know for a fact that. now that it is not mechanical. So is it something within the computer? It's either the computer. It could be that we're gonna body control cut, module. We're gonna cut cut the um. What all is it doing anyway? Pigtails. Is it it's misfire on cylinder seven. Ah, okay. Do you have E three spark plugs? Yeah. What are those? They're change it. Did you, now you say you changed spark plugs, right? Twice. Okay. Did you go AC Delco? Um, the guy that looked at it in the shop changed it to AC Delco. Okay, because I know that will cause an issue. Chevys have to run, for the most part, on AC Delco, Ford, Motorcraft, and Dodge. NGK. Yeah, well, I mean, it's funny how that'll work, but the spark plugs make a huge difference. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't think they would, oh, but they God, do. J-Mac. Now, E3, E3 is a spark plug manufacturer. They they kind of got a little creative with the basket. Do they, like, three pieces touch in the middle instead no. of having the one? Kind of. They have, like, a... like they pretty much designed a basket to go around the no no we tried okay. those it didn't those work. suck don't go the it didn't work yeah it, those it, it passes a spark test we're pretty sure it's passing the spark test we're going to do it at night so we can see the light better mm-hmm. it passes a spark test it passed compression test um if it was the timing it'd be multiple misfires on multiple cylinders but it's just a but one it's just cylinder. the one cylinder we swapped the coil five and six we swapped the fuel injector <laughs> five and or five and seven Good old cocks. What? Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but it's just the one cylinder. Yeah. We swapped shit. The coil. Um, I would say it's got The fuel injector. We're gonna, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the wires on the pigtail mm-hmm. and swap five and seven. To see if it does it again. Mm-hmm. Why did Gary say, damn it, call me? Because I was failing by myself. Oh. <laughs> I, oh. It was an epic fail. <laughs> it was like what... If you ever wanted to learn what to do on a podcast, this is a show to show you not to do. What not to do. Right. Yeah. I thought that was the premise <laughs> behind shots. <laughs> well, y- yeah, but, you know, usually um, when we do a show other than Hammer Approved, we have other people. Fair enough. And, like, on Hammer Approved, he has an idea of what he's talking about because he's got the product in front of him. I just sat down and was like, I don't Hi. know what I'm doing. Hi, I'm by myself. How do I talk to myself like a crazy person for a few minutes till somebody <laughs> shows up? Yeah, the voices in my head don't come across the radio, the mics. Uh, that's just wrong. What? I just got a picture from Devin. Sometimes I crunch up my jizz when it dries, and I bring the white powder to parties and watch people snort my cock sand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done, whole milk. Welcome to an automotive podcast where you can learn how to snort semen. <laughs> hey, George would do it. Yeah, yeah George would lick and snort anything. I mean, shit, dude, this guy is... Hey, we're live, Johnny. Yeah, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you didn't check the feed, dick. Um, obviously, it was working because other people are saying it was working. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. We're we're going to do that because I don't want to buy a computer. We're going to do that and hope that that does something. Well, I mean, can you, get, you can probably get away with doing a used one on there, couldn't you? No well, there, it's like 255 bucks, but then it's 100 to get it programmed. Oh, shit, um, get it tuned while you're at it. <laughs> just, More power! Or buy a Ford. Uh, no, fuck you. <laughs> I was at work yesterday. I was at work yesterday, and this dude showed up with an F-150. This dude had no business driving a truck. No okay. business. And he's a truck driver. A uh, truck driver, she says in air quotes. Um, <laughs> tell I George no it's isolated. I business driving a truck, and you made me drive yours today. Anyway, so he comes in, and he's like, can you guys test my battery? I just bought it like a year and a half ago, and it battery light keeps coming on. And on the way over here, it overheated. And I'm kind of looking at him. And my boss looks at him and goes, are you sure your belt's on? And he's like, I don't know. When we opened the hood, you can't get to... Uh, you see how small my hands and my wrists are. Uh-huh. I couldn't even get to the pulleys. There's so much shit in the way. But how does he not know if he's got a belt on it or not? Because, because you he don't know shit. The shit. The you, tru- okay, your truck is not... Well, I, ground, right? I can barely see my belt, but yeah, exactly. my truck's not on the ground. Yeah. His, tr- I mean, his, I have an F two fifty. Yeah, and this was a one fifty crew cab, like older, newer, newer is two thousand fifteen. Oh, okay. And um, it shredded the fucking belt, like busted it in half. 
So he and he's talking about driving it. I mean, he was spewing coolant out the top of the. He overheated it so bad it was in the red. He kept driving the fucking thing. Oh wow! And it, the coolant spewed out the top of the reservoir yeah, through the cap. That's not good. And so we filled the. I, he was going to drive it over to the goddamn dealership. Well, now you don't need a squirrel to, you know, to help you change your belt, but it helps. And, do, and then, do you know yeah. what he says? I got to talk to you about that one. And then, do you know what he says to us? He's like, "Really? <laughs> yeah, hello. Uh, this is Blown Pistons. This is Kaylin. Hey, Kaylin, how's it going? Good. How are you guys? Oh, we're keeping <laughs> busy. If you listen to the start of the show, you'd know." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I bombed. I, yeah, I bombed. I was pretty much starting it while waiting for everybody to show up, and it's hard to talk to yourself by yourself with nothing to talk about. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, welcome to Blown Pistons. Um, how have you been? Pretty good. Pretty busy. How have you guys been? Awesome. Insanely busy. A little bit. We, <laughs> we've got... Um, yeah, I, I haven't even had a chance to introduce everybody on the mics either, so, I mean, it's kind of... It's been one of those shows so far today. Well, it's all right. It's been one of those weekends for me, so I understand completely. Hmm. But um, I understand you you say you just moved to uh, Texas? I did. I just moved here actually a week or two ago. How are you liking it? Um, It's pretty fun. I start school here in a few weeks. I'm still driving on the weekends, either driving to the shows or flying to them. I just got back at like 4 o'clock this morning from a show in Oklahoma last night. Oh, I can hear that Southern. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So it's been pretty busy. Well, Texas is uh, a great state. Shut up. (laughs) Native to one of the people at this table. (laughs) Yeah, I'm from Texas. What part of Texas are you in? Um, I'm down in uh, Frisco, Texas. It's just north of Dallas. Oh, okay. Okay. I've never been there. There's a lot of places I've never been in Texas. It is a big state. It is. A little bit, yeah. It, um, it's only so big. Johnny it's down. It's not that big. It's not that big. So Alaska's bigger. Yes, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how's everything going with the monster trucks and the racing and stuff like that? Um, it's been pretty good. Last night was a bit of a rough night for us. Um, they actually did a show in Illinois on Friday night. I didn't drive my truck because there was no way for me to get to from Texas to there in time because it was a last second show. So we had another driver. His name's Tim Jones. He drives the Twisted Addiction. And he drove my truck in Illinois. And then him and my dad drove all night long to get to Oklahoma. And then I met them in Oklahoma. But I guess... They did quite the damage report in Illinois. Um, I know my truck, um, we thought it was a broken axle, but really just the axle slid off of the rest of the shaft, so then it was like a broken axle. I know they tacoed a wheel, they broke a sway arm all on my truck, and then my dad's truck had quite the damage report. So yesterday morning, we spent most of getting all that fixed, and then... We started the show, and I won wheelies first, and I just posted it, the video of my wheelies on my Instagram. Okay. And then um, the axle slid off again in racing, so Ooh. I missed the second racing pass, and we busted our butts to get it back out there, and we made it just in time for freestyle, and I took home the freestyle win. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, I do have one question for you I was kind of wondering about. i seen on... Uh, your Facebook page, you're driving for, uh, was it, is it not Monster Mutt, but the other one. Is Are you driving for them, or is that... Um, Actually, it's still going to be my truck. I know it's a bit of a confusion for some people, but it's still my truck. It's still Jailbird underneath, but I am running a Monster Jam body next year. I'm running the Monster Mutt Dalmatian body next year. So it's still jailbird underneath, but I'm just running their body for them because it's something that they wanted. Plus, it makes it a little easier for us because then we don't have to pay for that body. Oh, okay. So if anything happens to it, they're the ones that replace it? Yeah, basically. I can wreck it as much as I want. It doesn't come out of my dad's pocket. Well, there you go. That's so awesome. So it's kind of a win-win. <laughs> no, you don't need sponsors, but it helps. Really, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> but, no, that's that's awesome. So... Now, are you going to be running both bodies or both trucks or just the one um, next year? So how it works is that from for the Monster Jam season, which we do 
like our first quarter, like before World Finals, which this year they've extended to May. So our first quarter for them is January through May. So that entire time we'll be running the Monster Mutt Body. And then once we, after World Finals and once things start to settle back down, once we get into our summer shows, the Jailbird will be back. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what? Where? No. So where are you going to be next? Where am I going to be next? Yeah. Um, I'll be in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, next weekend for Monster Jam. Cool. Now that's like the massive events, then, right? For that's, that stuff, or is that is that broadcasted? Yeah, I guess that's where I was. Yeah. Going. It's a pretty big, or it's like a good size arena. It's it'll be a lot of fun. It's a lot more competitive with Monster Jam, which is what I enjoy. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, huh. if we can, if we can certainly see you on the T the TV there, we'll we'll certainly tune into that. That would be cool. Yeah, right. So, I would need to go to one of those shows. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I mean, I she was in the closest she gets to us is Elkhorn. Really? Yeah, yeah. Elkhorn <gasps> Fairgrounds. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we actually had a, um, one of our guys was there for that. Um, guru. Sean. Too. Really? Yeah. Hey, huh. Kaylin, do you guys play in Rockford or no? What? Do you guys play in Rockford? Rockford, Illinois. Um, I don't. We don't. I don't think we're anywhere in Illinois the rest of the year. Well, I know usually I think they, I think Rockford, Illinois does theirs in like February, I want to say, or somewhere somewhere along those lines. I usually do a Monster Jam show <coughs> once or twice yeah, a year. Yeah, I'm think. mostly on the East Coast, and then I'm also on the West Coast next year, January through May. Damn, that's a lot of traveling. Mm-hmm. I'm nowhere in the Midwest, so nowhere close to home for us. So then, how how does like with race, running the trucks and that around the country like that? How does that affect with you going to school? I mean, do you is it just weekends, or, I mean, do you... Um, yeah, it's just on the weekends. I go to school Tuesday through Thursday, and I'll be going from 8 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock at night Oof. to get a cosmetology license. And then either on late Thursday nights or early Friday mornings, I'll fly to wherever my dad is and meet the rig and then do the show, and then I'll fly back home and repeat it every single weekend. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. That's a full plate. Just to get that straight, you're going for cosmetology? In Texas, school. What was that? For you're you're going for a degree in col- or cosmetology or? Yeah, I'm gonna get a cosmetology degree so I can do hairdressing and stuff. That's cool. Okay. Nice. So you're gonna be a hairdresser on the week and then monster truck driver on the weekends. Yeah, pretty much a totally or, complete opposite lifestyle. Or <laughs> what she could do is monster truck themed hairstyles. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. give me those mental <laughs> images. <laughs> hey, I mean, she's got the jailbait truck, so she can do the jailbait hairstyle real quick. I mean, um, just just a couple of ponytails. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that would be simple, I guess. But no, that that is really cool. That it, I don't honestly know how. Like, wow, that is a lot of traveling, a lot of stuff. I mean, how how are you going to have any free time for anything? Um, well, it's a lot to juggle for sure, and it's a lot of stress that I have to learn how to manage. It does get pretty overwhelming. I'm also not a fan of airports, really. I've Me never either. had a good track record with airports. I think last uh, last time we talked to you, you were actually stuck at an airport. Yeah, I remember that. I was stuck in that airport for like nine hours, and it turned into a 15-hour day when I was supposed to get home at like 6 p.m., and I got home at 3 a.m. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. So, me and airports don't have a good connection. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of them either. But, I mean, it's a lot to juggle. It definitely gets stressful and overwhelming at times. Trying to be a full-time student plus working a full-time job. But, it's kind of a lot of fun to, because a lot of people do ask, like, how do I juggle the both of them? And it's kind of fun. It's like, you guys can do whatever you want. You can still have your dream job and still be a student or be a normal adult, too. Right on. That is awesome. I mean, yeah, it's just a I, ma- it's just a matter of how hard are you willing to work. I mean, exactly. You know, I'm in school right now and working part time. So I, I mean, I commend you. You, you're taking on a lot. 
Yeah, it's a lot. It can be a lot, but definitely the support of my friends and family and boyfriend um, make it a lot easier. For yeah, sure, that stuff sure. helps, definitely. Mm -hmm. It'll help. Huh. Really, right. Johnny, again? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I got to talk to Johnny about that oh, after yeah, the I, show. I, I don't care. It's still funny. I, it is. I'm just giving you shit. Um, but no, that is awesome. I mean, so you won your last freestyle and stuff. You've been winning quite a bit lately, or? Yeah, actually, this summer has been pretty, well. You've been I beating your dad that. a lot more? Oh, yeah. Last night, he was a little frustrated, um, because, um, a lot of trucks, a lot of teams, um, we have a, basically a walkie-talkie system that's built into the truck, so I have a mic, and I have earbuds that I wear inside my helmet, and I can communicate with my dads at all times um, when he's in the truck. So it's kind of funny because a lot of times they'll have the girl go first, you know. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think, oh, the girl's going first. It shouldn't, you know, it won't be that good, you know, because they hear how young I am or they hear how I've only been driving for three years. And I'm out here with all these other guys who've been driving for, I mean, my dad's been driving for 12 years, all the other guys. I've been driving for like seven years, 10 years, like even I've gone against guys who've been racing for 30 years. So it's a lot to live up to being the rookie, but sometimes I like being first because it's like, see, like I'm no longer afraid of that truck. I'm no longer afraid of like certain jumps anymore. So last night when I went out and did those wheelies that you can see on my Instagram, um, it's my, all I got in my ear from my dad was really that's how we're going to start the show. That's what I have to follow. <laughs> so it sounds like he was a little intimidated by that. Um, I think it was just like, well, dang, Kaylin, now I have to work a lot harder to try and beat you. And the student it's a lot of fun. It's definitely head to head with him and I. We get pretty competitive with each other. The same in freestyle. I mean, I mean, I missed a racing pass, so everyone had to know I was going to come back strong in freestyle. I was just going to send it to the moon. And that's what I did right out of the gate. Like we had to go through a gate and right out of the gate, I hit that first man second. I don't think I lifted at all when I hit it. I mean, I sailed pretty high off of it. I accidentally did some donuts on top of a crush car. Somehow it got all cattywampus and we ended up on top of a crush car. And that's all my dad said in my ear was seriously, <laughs> that's what I have to follow. I'm like, bring it on. So then kind of what I'll do is when he's out there running, I'll find a place to stand, like, up super high to where he can see me. And I'll, like, throw my arms up at him. I'm like, come on, old man, bring it. <laughs> so it sounds I like mean, it sounds like you two give each other, a, you know, a bunch of crap when you're actually racing oh, each yeah. other to kind of get each other going. It's a lot of fun. And then, I mean, in the first racing pass, I did have to race him. And I did lose pretty good i messed up in the final turn and i just ended up going over the turning car it doesn't really help you there just so you guys know <laughs> it's better to go around them instead of up them so he beat me in that and then he ended up taking the whole race and win so i mean it was a clean sweep for our team tk motorsports i won wheelies he won racing and i won freestyle so it was pretty nice well that's a good thing at least i mean if, say, you don't win, at least your dad wins then at that point. I mean, you still bring yeah, it home. Yeah, we still get to take it home as a team. The only mm -hmm. thing you should tell your dad is the student has become the master. What? You should tell your dad that the student has become the master. <laughs> <laughs> no, I that... mean, he definitely gets out there. and he. I mean, we have a lot of fun on the mic together also. He always jokes with the crowd. I guess what I also love is we're both pretty interactive with the crowd, and we really love to play up the whole father-daughter thing. Like, I always say, like, well, he's taught me everything I know, so technically he just got beat by himself. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't know who I am. I wouldn't, I definitely, I thank him every single week. I would not be the driver I am without him. A lot of people say our driving styles mimic each other so much and some people have even asked if that was my dad driving in freestyle because i drive so much like him now do you guys ever do any side bets or anything like that just have fun with it like if say like he wins you've got to do something or if you win you got to do like anything like that or is it just pretty much just bragging rights um sometimes we do but most of the time it's just it doesn't matter it's kind of turns into that thing it doesn't matter whether he's my teammate or my dad I don't really care who he is once I put a helmet on. He's just going down. 
Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's how it is with everything. I don't care if I'm, because my boyfriend races also, so I don't care if it's him. I don't care who it is when I put the helmet on. I know that when I put the helmet on, they're not my friends. They're not my family. They're not my boyfriend. They're no one. They're just another competitor out there, and I'm going to do everything I can to beat them. Awesome. Cool. I like that. Hel- competition is healthy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, and it makes it a lot more fun, especially if you're that close to somebody that yeah, way. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Now, what, um, I know you've mentioned this before. What truck does your boyfriend drive? Um, so I'm dating Travis Mowry, and he drives a Storm Damage. And actually, I'll be racing against him this weekend in Sioux Falls for Monster Jam. So it'll be a lot of fun. I got him and my dad to try and beat him. Oh, this wow. That's going to be a big one for you. Oh, yeah. Him and I, um, He's actually here visiting, but him and I have been joking and saying that I'm going to beat him, and he's got a new locker in the front, so he's got to learn how to drive with that, and I've been driving with a locker for a while, so I got one up on him, I think, but he don't know that yet. <laughs> yes, I got to keep, I gotta still got to keep some secrets to myself, some tricks up my sleeve. Right. Uh, it, I, I take it you guys have never raced each other? What? I take it you guys have never raced each other? Um, we have a couple times before. Normally he beats me. <laughs> but yeah. um, mostly just because I'm I'm that type of competitor who gets in their head very easily. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I, like if I'm racing against Gravedigger or something, like I'm like, I know I have to beat them. Like I know I have to do it. So then I try way too hard and I overdrive the truck. And when you overdrive the truck, it really just kind of. It's like you beat yourself. Screws you up. Yeah, I basically end up beating myself, and that's um, a big thing that I've really been fighting this year in my third year of competing. Is that's where I run? Like I've made it pretty far. Like a lot of the times this year, I made it to the finals in racing, like in Monster Jam, which is like a really big accomplishment for me to make it that far in such a hard field. So I mean, that's like really hard. But then I get to that final race, and I lose everything that all the techniques that I was doing to get there. Like I forget it all. And I just end up beating myself either hitting the cars or hitting, or I mean, a few times I ended up rolling over because I drive way too hard. I just roll up in the final corner. Oh God, that would terrify me. It gets pretty frustrating for sure. And then I just get told in my ear, well, you just beat yourself. Oh, (laughs) thanks for rubbing it in. (laughs) (laughs) Now, I know what you're saying with the two race, uh, radios and that. Now, I'd imagine that sometimes some of those conversations get pretty colorful, don't they? Um, Sometimes, but, I mean, like, when I roll over, it's gotten to the point where, like, I rolled over six times this year in Monster Jam, so that was in a four-month span. I rolled six times, and it kind of got to the point where I didn't even wait to hear my dad's voice. I just immediately got on there saying, Yes, I'm okay. Yes, that was my fault. Yes, I will fix it. <laughs> so basically, you make sure you take the blame right away before he has time to oh, rub yeah. it in. Before I have to hear, well, what were you thinking? You shouldn't have done this, shouldn't have done that, all that stuff. Which, I mean, he usually doesn't because now he's gotten to the point where whatever happens is going to happen no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Now, with those trucks, when you roll them, you're, you guys are pretty safe anyways, aren't you? Oh, yeah, for sure. We're 100% safe. I feel so much safer in my monster truck, my 12,000-pound monster truck, than I do my normal day-to-day car. Can I ask what that is? Um, It's a 2017 Jeep Wrangler. Nice. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Very nice. Awesome. Now, is it completely stock, or did you play with it a little bit? Oh, I definitely messed with it. Um, It's got a 4-inch lift with 35 tires and some black method wheels on it okay methods some serious shit man <laughs> oh yeah it's uh it's a lot of fun i'm gonna definitely find some off-road trails down here so this year then you're primarily running the jailbird monster truck um then... this year yes i've never ran any other body before well i take the back when i first started driving my truck used to be called freedom keeper so i drove that for a few months and then I like to call it Jailbird 1.0 was the old Chevy Jailbird truck. It was orange and black with a guy on the side. I drove that for about a year. 
And then not this year, but last year is when I came out with the Jailbird 2.0 purple design with the. That girl is on the an side. awesome design too. If I need to look at. The, I need to look at this. Yeah, and Kaylin, where can we find? Uh, How do we find you on yeah. IG? On the um, IG, like all of my social media is super easy. Um, I have a Facebook fan page. It's just Kaylin Miguez, or you can look up Jailbird Monster Truck. My Instagram is uh, Kaylin underscore Miguez. And you can just see, it. I saw all my social media is super easy to access. And the one thing I love too is when you go on your for your media and that stuff, you you've got a lot of pictures of you with the fans and kids and stuff like that. You seem like you're very interactive with the fans when you're at your shows oh. and that. Well, the fans are definitely what makes it the best part, it, and it's what I say into the mic every single weekend. And I never get tired of saying it. And I always say it because I always say the louder the fans are, the higher my truck goes, which is true. Like, yes, we can't really hear the fans inside the truck. When the truck's on, we cannot hear them. But we can see you guys for sure. So, like, fans standing, waving their arms, waving the flags, like, all of that, like, definitely gets all of us drivers riled up so much. So, basically, the crazier they are, the crazier we go as a driver. Yeah, I know my kids, I'll, whenever you post a video like that and it pops up on my news feed and then I'll show them and they just absolutely love it when you're doing the jumps, when you're doing... Like, it's so much fun, especially when you just have like those little kids mm-hmm. who say they want to drive a truck also. It's like, they're the next generation and if they, they can do whatever they want. Like I said, I didn't get into the monster truck business like most people get into it. I got into it through my dad and so... I am that driver who can't always offer the best advice to help someone get involved with monster trucks, but I always tell them the way that my dad got started, and that was just by volunteering at shows and getting his foot in the door, basically. So if a six-year-old comes up and tells them that they want to be a driver, I just tell them that they can be the next jailbird driver when they turn 18. Well, I know um, your dad, didn't he start out with the Nitro Circus, if I remember right? Um, no, he started 13 years ago by volunteering and helping out Jimmy Cregan and the Bounty Hunter. And that's, you know, I hear a lot of stories about that. That's how a lot of people start is mm-hmm. if anybody wants to start, just go help. You know, every or if, you know, just ask if you can help. You know, exactly. Ask it, you like, know, you can't. How, Exactly. That's exactly right. You just got to help. And that's what my dad did. He just started helping and helping and helping. And then eventually... He landed a job with Jimmy, and um, actually, that was only supposed to be a six-month crew job. Like, he was only supposed to work for him for six months. He was told that he would never drive, and a year later, he started driving, and then nine years later, he stopped working for Jimmy. He bought the Jailbird and the Nitro Menace from another monster truck owner, and then four years later, here we are. Nice. Wow. That is awesome. Now, how many, is it just the two trucks in the that you guys have or do you guys have multiple or getting more and more trucks um no it's just my dad and i right now it's just our two trucks um we are going to start building a new truck for my dad and then we'll end up selling his chassis his chassis is just pretty old it gets it cracks pretty easily Mm -hmm. and mine does too both of our chassis are 13 years old so they're getting to that point where we're running them pretty hard um almost every weekend so it's pretty hard on the trucks themselves and hard on the chassis. So we've had to do a lot of fabrication work here lately. So about next year, this time next year, we should be building a new truck for my dad. Now, do you guys build Do you guys build a completely new one or do you go out and buy one Typically, from somebody else? we will order a chassis. We'll just order the bare chassis. And what we'll do is we'll just transfer all the parts. So all the parts from that he has now, we'll just transfer them over to... The new truck, or some things we'll put new parts on, just depending on how old the parts are. But we normally, he's thinking about building his own chassis, just because chassis are pretty expensive. Um, I know the average for a chassis, just a bare chassis, like no parts with it, is about $22,000. Wow. Wow. Hey, Dave, you looking for a new truck? There's there's one coming available. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. No, there is. <laughs> now, when he builds his chassis, and that, is that something he can go off of his own, or is there a lot of different specs that he has to follow per the well, Monster Jam? It's, it's a pre-built chassis, Dave. So it's no, gonna I, be she said she's. Spec. They're going to be building their own. 
I thought, she, no, she's going to pre, they're going to be buying. Um, I think it does have to have some certain specs, each one that has to have. So, um, like if you want to do, like if you run a stadium tour, for instance, and you wanted to be able to be allowed to do backflips, you have to have the backflip bars in your chassis just. So it's two bars that sit on each side of your seat. And it's just so in case you don't land the backflip and if you land on your roof, it won't cave in on you. So it's just a whole bunch of safety things. Mm. But it also definitely depends on your preference on how you want things built and how you where you want the motor to sit. Like, do you want a low motor? Do you want a high motor? It all just depends on your preference right now. Both of our motors are pretty middle, but he really likes the low motor chassis. kind of like um, it's so much like we call it a CRD chassis, which is very similar to a monster jam truck. It's a lot like more center gravity, which is what my dad prefers. Okay. What, uh, what power plants do you guys have in those right now? What, what? The, what does, uh, when do you guys run for an engine in those right now? Um, we actually just put a brand new motor in mine three weeks ago. Um, it, I used to have a 540, and now it's a 555 Chevrolet big block motor. Wow, nice. Mm-hmm. It pushes about 1,500 horsepower on a good day. Damn. <laughs> that pretty good. <laughs> Impressive. I can definitely tell the difference. I didn't think I would be able to tell the difference from a 555 from my old 540, but... She's definitely got a lot of pep in her step, and I'm definitely still getting used to it. It's only I've only done three shows with it, so we're still getting used to it for sure. But I do like it a lot. I really want to test it out on a bigger track and see what she has. Uh, I may be wrong, but you uh, those are supercharged motors, aren't they? And uh, yes, and running on methane or methanol. Methanol. Mm. It's I uh, got a Whoa. huge uh, fuel injection system. And that is awesome. I just saw a diesel fuel injector yesterday at work. I can only imagine what those look like. <laughs> that is they're cool. not that now, big. What do you guys... What do you think they are? They're small hmm. car injectors, but they're performance. So they're going to have a higher flow rate than a normal car would. Oh, okay. But they also need to be compatible with the, the methanol. Oh, yeah. So. Now, what do you guys run for gearing in the diffs and stuff like that? I mean, is there a big variety? Are you allowed to run what you want, or is there a certain spec that you have to go off of? Um, In the diffs, it kind of just depends on what kind of housing you run. But And I don't know it off the top of my head, but I know there is like a certain kind that our team runs. And then, you know, other teams could run different ones just depending on their housings and kind of how they're set up. It really just It's different for each team, and it can even be different for each truck. Like, both of our trucks are completely identical. But not every team is like that. Some team, some two truck teams, or even four truck teams, all four of them could be different. But we keep both of our trucks completely identical from head to toe. Besides, the only difference between my motor, and my dad's motor, is the piston size. So, but mostly, like all of our four link bars, all of our housing bolts, shocks, everything's exactly the same. Just so we can just keep the same parts in the trailer and we don't have to worry about, oh, wait, no. Like, if he breaks, mm-hmm. I don't have to go dig in to try and find a part for his truck. I just go, I'm like, I know where this part, like a four-link bar. Like, I know this four-link bar. And the only thing I have to worry about with our four-link bars is the top is shorter than the bottom. So, basically, the two trucks mirror each other. As, as exactly. Far as the that. only thing cool. that we've got differences is just colors. Like, he's blue and yellow and I'm purple and orange. Now, are you guys running the same body? Like, yes, they're okay. both 2015 Ford Super Duties, I believe. There you go, bud. Dave's mm-hmm. a big Ford fan. Now, my question is, is would you ever take, that, like, say, that, that motor you pulled out of your truck, would you ever put that in your Jeep? Oh, um, I don't know if that could handle it. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. It could handle it. <laughs> I mean, right now, she does no good for me, because right now, um, when that motor blew, um, I blew... Number five and six rod bearings. Oh wow! So she's def she's at the engine builder right now. She's getting some TLC. Now with that stuff, do you guys tear the engine apart and rebuild them after every show, or do you, if they stay together, no, you keep going? We typically keep them. We try not to go into them too much because sometimes if you just start tweaking too much, you know, it can make the problem worse. But right now she's running beautifully. I mean, in about a year. We'll probably, you know, roll some bearings in it, check over everything. Um, if I start having oil pressure issues, we'll definitely look into it, like look into the filter, look into everything. But right now she has a beautiful 90 pounds of oil pressure. Um, 
We try to roll bearings on a motor about once a year, every six months. I think my dad likes to do every six months, but if anything, we try not to touch them besides changing oil and then just your normal maintenance. You know, we'll check the lifter or we'll check valves and stuff. Just make sure everything's still snug and tight. And other than that, we don't try to mess with them. They This motor, before I put this motor in, that motor was almost two years old. So we definitely got our money and time out of it. So my question is, is like, do you have any like pre-race rituals? Like I know like other race car drivers will change their brakes before a race so they have a fresh set of brakes or do you have any rituals like that just like i don't have any rituals with the truck per se i mean i have my mostly just my pre-show rituals are once i'm inside the truck before i go out there um like i always i have to wear like super like long socks that like go to like my shin because i hate like when i sit down in my seat and my fire suit rides up and then my ankles are showing it just bothers me I so hate like I my ankles wear, like, showing. Yeah, it's just, it feel, it's because, especially because they're like, it's like a tight around the ankle type of fire suit. So then it's like, it's like tight sweatpants at the bottom, but then they ride up halfway. So then it just feels weird. Mm. And it's always pink socks. It always is like either like Under Armour socks or I have a pair of pink snap on socks. It's normally pink socks. And then like, I put my belts on it. I put my belts on a certain way every single time. I always do. From left to right, I always do, um, I always put my earbuds on first and then my head socks. Like, I have a complete routine. It's always everything on the left and then everything on the right. And it has yeah. to be the same every single time or else something just doesn't feel right when I go out there. And then, you, you know, it, yeah. If, for, or heaven for, Are you forbid, having problems, Johnny? Heaven forbid you lose. It's like, oh, damn it. It's because I went right to left instead of left to right. <laughs> um, no, no, it doesn't affect me that bad, but I just don't have that complete confident feeling in myself. Hmm. No, that's, I mean, really cool. I mean, I know a lot of people, like Johnny was saying, a lot of drivers and they have something as in, you know, they have they have to do it a certain way or that but mm-hmm. no that is really cool and sometimes it doesn't even feel like it gets to be like it doesn't even feel like a ritual it's just kind of muscle memory it's just what happens it just is always that way for me hmm. yeah you train yourself into certain things mm-hmm. but yeah that, i mean i'm yeah that's awesome i mean it sounds like you got a lot of big stuff coming up especially like like you were saying next year with monster jam with the uh monster mount dalmatian yeah, it'll be super excited. I'm super excited to drive that truck. I already has an amazing following from the two previous girls that are still driving for it, but they created a good base, um, and I'm really excited to join it. Plus, a whole bunch of new set of fans. Like, I get to take my Jailbird fans and bring them to Monster Mutt and vice versa. And you said it's just the body changing over. I mean, it's still going to be the yep. same truck underneath? Yep, it's still my truck completely. Um the, like everything like if i break a tire off that's still something we pay for um literally the only thing that's different i mean we might do a few color changes just so it looks better um like i might get rid of some of the red and orange just so add a little red and white in there just to make it look better with the body and make sure that it flows a lot nicer because i still want it to look nice of course because it is my truck underneath it's still jailbird at heart so how hard is it to change out those bodies i mean do you i just I guess I'll start with that question first. How hard is it to change out those bodies on those? Well, this body is completely different than what I've ever had before, and it's nothing we've ever had before, even on my team. So we're definitely going to have to do a lot of work to try and get this body to fit my truck because it is obviously made for the Monster Jam trucks, and their chassis are a little different than mine. So it's definitely going to take a lot of maneuvering, a lot of metal work to try and get the body to sit right and look right and make it to where it's still easy for us to work on it um obviously it needs to look good because it's still our name out there like we're the ones who put the body together so we obviously still want it to look nice so it'll definitely take a lot of work it's not a normal pickup body um i mean everyone knows what the most what dalmatian looks like everyone mm-hmm. knows it's kind of like a looks like a I don't dog say minivan but it's like yeah. almost like a car kind of like it comes over the whole back of the truck so it's nothing like i have ever had before so it's definitely take a lot of fab work but I think it'll in the end it'll look pretty good. Now you're going to be and you're also going to be running the Jailbird truck too next year, also correct? Yes, yeah, so the Jailbird okay. will be back for our summer shows and all through the fall. But this Monster Mutt's only for our competitive season before World Finals when we're all trying to compete to earn that spot to World Finals. Oh, okay. 
Awesome. That is really cool. I'm I'm intrigued to see what this turns out like. Well, I'm sure we'll have her on again. I mean, this is I think our third or third fourth, or fourth time. time. Yeah. Huh. And yeah, I love this. It's really fun having you on. I know we've um you've been in Wisconsin a couple times and we've tried to make it out there and we really want to get out there to meet you, talk to you in person, plus do a live show out there. Yeah, we'll, I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm nowhere near close to done driving, so I'm sure I'll be out there again. Okay. No, that, I mean, yeah, like I said, we definitely we want to be out there. We want to do a live show with you. Um, I know my kids want to really meet you. I know Hammer's kids want to meet you. Like, oh, yeah. Every, every, all of our kids want to meet you because they've heard us talk to you. They've seen the videos from us that we posted about this. They've seen, like... Things on TV, I mean, they're super amped on getting a chance to meet you and talk to you and see who we've been talking to in person. Oh, yeah, we will for sure. I'm sure 120%. I mean, me and my dad, we are compete. We are, our schedule is booked until the second week of December this year. So that's typically how we run almost every year. So I'm sure for sure that I'll be in Wisconsin again. I'll be able to meet all you guys in person, which would be awesome. Now, do you and your dad always do the same shows together? Yeah, kind of how my dad works um, when he's booking shows. Like, promoters will ask, hey, can you come do the show? Um, my dad's kind of rule, or the only way we run typically is there's two trucks in that trailer. So two trucks come in, two trucks come out per show. Like, no matter what. I mean, okay. unless, like, there was uh, like there was a week that we did, like, a few shows for the same promoter, but we did, like, multiple fairs. And so... One night it was my dad's truck, and then the next night it was my truck. So it's like that sometimes where they only want a certain amount of trucks, but we still get both of us in the show, just not the same show, but it's still the same promoter. It just depends on who the promoter is, how they want to work the deal. But 99.999% of the time, if two trucks go in that trailer, two trucks are coming out to perform. That's cool. I know one of these days I'd like to uh, get your dad on the show so we can kind of get an idea of what – you know, yeah, I'll have talk. to get him to do that sometime. I'll, he, I mean, he drives a lot, so he's yeah. got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he'd be really interesting to get on because I know we've looked at. We, I think we, I want to say the first time we had you on, I think he was on for a second. Yeah, I think he was on for a split second, but he definitely would. I will talk to him for sure. He's definitely a good one to talk to. He's driven so many different trucks, like he's driven Bounty Hunter, Iron Outlaw. Stone Crusher, he's driven Bigfoot. You know, he's done almost all of it. So he's that raced cool. up against everyone, and he's beat almost everyone. He's beaten <laughs> Grave Digger. So he'd definitely be a really good one to talk to. Awesome. Well, hopefully, um, like I said, next when we can find out the schedule next time that you guys are in Wisconsin, we can have yeah, both of you sure. on. That would be really cool. Yeah, we'll figure it out for sure. But I will, um, I will let you get back to what you were doing. I don't want to take your whole Sunday from you. <laughs> so. Thank you guys so much. And Thank you. I, again, where all can where can we find all your stuff on like Facebook and all that? Um, just look up Kaylin Migas on Facebook, and I have a Facebook fan page that I post um, periodically to. Um, you can also look up Jailbird Monster Truck, and on the Jailbird Monster Truck, you can find a link to our website. You can also look up Nitro Menace Monster Truck on Facebook. That's my dad's fa- uh, Facebook for his monster truck. And then my Instagram is just Kalen underscore Miguez. Cool. All right. Well, we will let you go that way. Like I said, you can enjoy the rest of your Sunday and get some schoolwork done. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. And all right. We will talk to you later. She's nice. I I like her. Yeah, she's really cool. Every time we've had her on, um, it's always been great conversations. I know the first time I bombed because I was thrown off Mm, that's what we'll go with (laughs) but yeah it's it's been really fun having her on i mean like i said we really got to get to when she's doing a live show here in wisconsin we've definitely got to get there now that we've introduced you to or cody we've introduced you to her Mm -hmm. mandy that's that's honestly our goal we want to do a live show and like to have her on plus maybe her dad or you know anything if we can do a show at a monster truck thing it'd be great if we could do it right from her pits we wouldn't be able to hear anything. Probably not. Yeah, true. You p- you pick up too much noise from the. Well, I know she did say if we ever did Maybe go like up. After the show or 
Yeah, I mean we've we ha ha Devin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I just looked up, uh, but yeah, I know we have talked about if we did do something like that, we'd get like a hotel, have everybody stay up there, and maybe we could do a live show from there or something. Yeah. Hmm. So that could I mean, be fun. It's it's been in the works. We've been we want to get something going this next year. Last year, everybody was just really busy, uh, family life, stuff Everybody's like that. Busy. Yeah. We definitely, I think. As a group, we need to sit down and figure out what shows we can do and what we can get everybody together at and kind of try to plan it out a little we are more. Never, we need to have a meeting, but we're, it's never going to happen. Well, we've, we've had our three or four in the last year. Right. Like, <laughs> we, need, we need to have one, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, not just a party either, an actual. Yeah. Well, our well, first one was actually, the first one that I was involved in um, was actually a meeting and slash cookout. But so. I know with everybody right now, I know a lot of schedules have changed. A lot of schedules are updating, mm-hmm. going away, stuff like that. It's just, it's been really hard. I mean, yeah, everybody's got new stuff going on, new jobs, new everything. Yeah. So it's it's been an interesting, interesting year. Yeah, it has. Mm-hmm. I need a nap. From this year? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> well, don't worry. I mean, there ain't much left, so. I mean, today. <laughs> well, that's because you were up late and now you hung over. Yes. And you don't remember anything. I, did, I was, but I was, I kept my shoes. <laughs> oh, right. Well, there's that. There. Yeah. All right. I think I can hear her better now. I just yeah. tried to adjust her. Oh. You're hey, stepping it, off in all types of shit in left field today. <laughs> you know, I'm trying here. I, when's the last time you seen me sit here and do a whole show by myself? No, or I not mean by like, myself. No, I mean like left field. Like your mind is like everything. You, you're stepping off into the gutter Squirrel. a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> you My ju- bad. Or maybe I'm in the gutter. I don't know. Because you are always in the always. gutter. What the hell are you telling me that for? <laughs> always. You're my. You're the one that says, "Sorry, guys, I can't stay late. I'm going to get the D." <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> hey, if mine was more readily available, I'd be doing the same damn thing. So, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, man, so, when you need it, you need it. Yes. So, guys, I'm. I guess I'm going to wrap this one up. Okay. Uh, if you like what you hear, and downloading us or whatever, whenever you're listening to us, if it's live or not, whatever, it's great. Click uh, that like button. Yeah, click the like button. Come on, guys. Let's Share it with all your friends. Share it with your friends. Well, it's our guys. I mean, caring is sharing. Except for herpes. Yeah, please don't share that. Yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not share herpes. <laughs> <laughs> or well, any of the other ones. I still say the zombie apocalypse is going to start that way. <sighs> I mean, herpes? Off. It's an yes. STD. STD. It'll be an STD. Yes. Uh, we're all going to turn into zombies from sex. Yeah, pretty much. That's sad. That is not a bad way to go out. All right. Well, I will end the show on that <laughs> note. <laughs> so, guys, uh, let's see if I can kill this correctly. But you guys got anything to say? Not good. Peace All out. Right. Fuck you guys. We're out. Deuces. Possibly out. Once I hit that button and boom. Oh, do you really want to stop broadcasting? Shit. Yes.